All right. All right, so listen. Here's my goal, all right? Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. The battle games, you know, I, I set up things with different people when they come back because I get to know every one of you. I got Blaine Train right here. I know his nickname. What's up? Blaine, how much are you going to make this year? I'm going to make 120. Blaine is going, Blaine, stand up. I want to show you something, right? Blaine, how long have you been selling for? A year and nine months. He's been selling for a year and nine months, okay? Blaine, you have obstacles in your life, am I right? I don't have to say what they are. He's here. Okay. Making a buck 20, he's going to go to 250 next year. Look. I want to tell you this. Hey, I, I, I see people that sometimes just need permission to go to the next level, okay? I'm giving it to you. Go slaughter everybody. Bring the sheep to the slaughterhouse, okay? Stand up. Guys, this is Josh Tucker right here. Josh has been selling cars for two weeks. Listen, actually, actually, Josh was in training in your store, right? Yeah. Josh is an Oklahoma boy. He's local, right? So Josh comes into the conference room and he says, hey, man, I'm sorry to my job. Haven't taken any ups yet, right? Mm -hmm. You're in training. Yeah. And literally, he's like, they're about to let me out on the floor. You know what I'm saying? And I want to do great. I told him exactly what to do. I told him exactly what was going to happen. And guess what? He went back out and in two weeks, he sold 10 and a half cars. Now, how the heck does a person that has experience sell 10 and a half cars in a month? It doesn't make sense. Okay. What we do doesn't make sense because your skill, your momentum, your drive and your fire supersedes everything. Okay. Good job. Good job. And every one of you guys, we can go through stories all day. We got trained though. Okay. So my goal is, is that I, I need the Ian Evan Macklin brothers. Come on. Oh! All right, guys. All right. All right. All right. All right. So hey, listen. I like how you call us the Ian and Evan Macklin. Confusion techniques. Now listen, Hey guys, I want to say something to you. All right. The reason why I got these two guys, they've been selling cars for about 10 years, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now listen, we're going to do something, right? Our cameras for virtual will pick up this whiteboard and that, okay? So my goal is, is that we'll do a little here and a little there. These objections that I've planned out, I wanted to plan some tougher ones, okay? These are going to be pretty difficult and they're going to be stuff that you have in the store all the time right now. And guess what? Here's the cool deal, okay? We want to create and build the competitive, competitive in, environment in this place. And the last part of this, we didn't learn this, but I said, learn competitive intensity, killer instinct, and crushing the other guy mentality, okay? That is the zone we freaking live in. Crushing the other guy, the killer instinct. You got to get in that zone. It's something that has to run through your veins. When I hit that first big deal, I told you guys, my veins, something came through them and it was an adrenaline I've never felt, almost like a sport winning. And I said, man, dude, I can do this until I die. And I'm telling you, there's lots of people in the car business burned out. Crush them. Put them out of their misery. Seriously. Look, either take them to the next level by them seeing how amazing you are or just put them out of their misery and they'll say, I just can't compete with this guy, okay? This is a game we played last time. Anybody ever seen the little YouTube video I put together with these guys, yeah. right? Okay, was anybody here alive last time we did it? <laughs> Tyler was here, Romeo was here. All right, cool, it was fun, right? This right here, take yourself and put yourself in their shoes right now, okay? And say, if I got served with that objection, how would I handle it? Don't focus on how he's handling it. I want you to watch him because that's how you get better. Me as a kid, when I was closing, I was learning how to close, I'd come by and just watch you. That's the only way I'd learn. I had to watch him creeping. close the deal. Yeah. Well, I'd be creeping because... Uh, it was I, more like this. Uh, hey, because I always tell them I got special stuff for them. And I go, eh, eh, eh. Yeah, and they're like, what? Hey, they're here. It's game time. Here's what we got. Alex, do me a favor. Stand over here real quick, all right? You're going to keep track and tabs on these guys. One goes out of the room, the other one comes back in. You guys know how it goes. They can't hear each other's answers. They're twins. They probably understand it from the hallway, all right? Alex, do me a favor. This is what we're going to do, right? So we're going to, I got 10 objections, but I'm going to try to move quick. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. You guys will have to pick every round that they go, you'll pick a winner. Who handled it the best? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. No teaming up on favorites. Look, win, loss. That's it. You got to choose one. No ties, Ian, no ties. No ties. Ian, and we got Evan. Okay? So bottom line is you're going to get a W and you're going to get an L. Whoever's got the most at the end, that'll be the win, uh, winner of this battle. Okay? But this is a battle that you need to enjoy having and do yourself. We got tons of role playing after lunch. We're going to get into it hard and closing, negotiating. These are 10 objections I want to teach, but we're going to take these guys to the next level. All right, Ian, in the hallway. Adios. Adios. Okay, yeah, here. Yes, let's do it when we're done. Is that cool? All right. He, he said, hey, can you tell them the story about these guys? Sure. Done, absolutely. But right now, let's put this on and then we'll go over it. Because it's important. Because people think that people are born this way. Nah, man, you're, people are created, right? You're creating yourself right now. Zero doubt in this room needs to be flowing through these veins. Everybody needs to know exactly where they're going. All right. So, Alex, you ready to roll, babe? All right, gotcha. Okay, so here is going to be the scenario. I'm a scenario builder. I like to build scenarios. That way everybody can understand it. And then that way he can have an opportunity to rock and roll. Okay? Um, hey, where's the rogue mic? We got it? No, we're done. No, no, no bueno? All right, we're done. Rogue Mike, forget it, unless it doesn't work. Okay, I just want to make sure so you can hear him, but I'll stay close enough to him, all right? Okay, so here is the scenario. Okay, I call on a phone pop. Ring, ring. You know what I'm saying? You answer, okay? And I'm asking for a specific new car. Who sells new cars in here? Okay, you ever had somebody call and ask for a specific new, for, uh, new car, and they ask for a specific color, specific features, you don't have it, and you can't get it. Okay? It's like this, hey, hey, you're like, hey, I appreciate you, man, you know what, let me check on that real quick, I'm gonna get right back with you, okay? Mm -hmm. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. All right, call me back, go. Like you just called me? Yeah, so I called you, yep, yep. and I asked for this color, yep. this options, yep. all these things, yep. and you're like, hey, do me a favor. I don't, I don't believe we have that on our lot, but I I, I'd probably get it. So I probably wouldn't even say that. I'd just say, here, listen, Andy, I told – dude, I, I'm so glad you called in on that car. Not only are you looking at one of the best ones, my favorite with some of the best features. I've got 700 cars on the lot. We're the number one new car store in our entire district. So I will make sure when you come down, you're with the right guy to find you the right car with the right features. Now, we do have several different packages, and these cars sell quick. What time can you be here? Okay, great. Well, the only reason why is because I drove to another store. They didn't have what I wanted, and I ended up leaving. Yeah. So I just wanted to see if you had something that was exactly what I wanted before I actually drove down. Well, it sounds like some features are important to me, to you, Andy. It sounds like you're also looking to do the spend the right time looking for the right car and I will help you find that right car and it's not going to be a problem. When can you be here? Do you have the right car for me? I absolutely do, Andy. We got one sitting right on the showroom floor. When can you be here? Okay, good. All right, listen. Yeah. Now, hold on. Now, listen. I understand what we say. We say, hey, we're the best. When can you make it? I've got you, got you, got you, done. Come in. Yeah. But you know that new car buyer that says, hey, I want to know, do you have what I want? Yeah. Right? I want us to handle that guy, okay? You did a good job. Let's so bring I, your brother. I'm not typically worried about that. I'll just tell them, yeah, I mean, I absolutely sure. about the car. And then when they get there, I'm going to handle them. They're, I'm going to overwhelm them with Sticking to the objection, attitude. right, would be like literally geeking out on the options. Yeah. Does that make sense? We have a word track that we use that's really good for this, okay? Mm -hmm. But here's the idea. I'm bringing your brother. Okay. Why don't you stay right here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? All right, bring the brother in. Let's roll. Hey, listen, guys, and I mean it when I say this. You're going to pick one. Listen to what he said. Think about the way he handled it. I'm going to go over the same exact way with my man right here looking sharp. Got the best on, ready to roll. Ian. All right, Ian. So here's the scenario. I called on a phone pop, so I might call on you ring, ring, right? It's all phones. And I asked for a specific new car, specific color, specific features, mm -hmm. right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I know exactly like what I want. Package, yeah, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. I want this. I want yeah. this. I just want to make sure you got it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I drove to another dealer. They didn't have it. I wasted my time. I just want to call you and make sure you got it before I come in, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't have it mm -hmm. and you can't get it. Go. You want me to tell you that? No, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I'm saying the scenario is you know you don't have it and you can't get it. So it's kind of like, right? Yeah, well, I'm Here no, we go. I'm no, no. Okay, whatever. I'll just uh, I'll tell you how I would tell you. Okay. okay. Yeah, Andy, hey, 
Uh, it sounds like you got great taste. When you come down, we're going to make sure that we match up all the features to everything that you're looking for. And I can assure you that whatever you're looking for, we'll match it up identically to it and we'll get you the right one. Okay, cool. So okay. I went to another place and they didn't have it and I wasted my time. Yeah, that's um, okay, Andy. I completely understand. Most places, and especially in our market, don't have the inventory that we have access to. So just come on down and I'll make sure that we get you the right one. No worries, brother. What time are you going to be here? Okay, that was a good. All right. I'm all right. not worried about them not having the vehicle. Just can't get, yo, no, 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 no. We got it. Hey, listen. listen. Don't figure it out. What they're saying is the truth. <laughs> no, no. Is that right? right here, dog. I don't know. Yeah. Listen to me. If you stick to the customer's objection, what will happen? You'll never sell them. You'll never see them. You'll never see that customer. All right. Here's what I want to do. All right, Ryan, listen, I'm going to hit you with that objection. Is that cool? Yeah, I'm going to hit you with that objection. Okay. But hold on. No, and, and by the way, it's not about this, but there's two, there's two of them that I want to hit while we go through them, so everybody's on this. So what's this? Guy calls on a new car, right? You don't have the options. You guys have been there, right? Yeah. What is your number one goal? To do exactly what these guys did. Here's my point. Sell the appointment. Sell the appointment. Sell the appointment. Never sell the car. Sell the appointment. But sometimes people can get a little sticky on the phone. And they're like, hey, unless you got the exact car, I'm not coming down. Am I right? And you got to get into that and we could go a little farther. All right. The the two here, how did who who won out of handling this first one? Who do we got here? We got my man on my right, because you're probably wondering their names. This is Ian. This is Evan. The only way you can tell the difference is the goatee. Ian's got a goatee. Remember that. All right? Who won? Ian or Evan? I heard a lot of you. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Ready? Everybody for Ian? That's a lot of people. Ready for Evan? I don't know if that was less people, but it was louder. <laughs> all, right. all right, all right, hold on. No, no, we, we weren't going to. Hey, we were hold on. We weren't going to do ties, but we'll do a tie on this one. We will move to. No, no, because we're going to have to count, but I got a lot of stuff I want to cover with you guys. So let's move. All right, Ryan, right. I'm going to tell you this, Ryan. Hey, I, I called on a phone uh, on the phone. I'm asking about a specific car. You know what I'm saying? You don't have it. You can't get it. And let's just say you, I can't sell the appointment. Let's say I can't. Am I right? Some of you guys are like, Andy, but what happens if you can't sell the appointment, right? And they're extra, extra tough. Because you could get that guy, right? Yeah, I'll get him every time. Okay. I love it. <laughs> no, no, All right. Just, I mean, no, I, yeah, I could tell you stories about that, but like, I'm not really worried about not having No, no, no. I'm not worried about it. But what, what do we do with the difficult guy that's mm-hmm. over the top difficult? I got a word track that you guys okay. will like. All right. You'll love it. This is if you have to spill the beans. Yeah, it's pink. It's sitting on the showroom floor. It's right here. I'm, Ooh, like, I'm, sitting I'm looking at it. Hey. I'm busy. All right. To do. This is selling 101 right here, baby. All right, Ryan. Hey, I appreciate it. Uh, you don't have it. You can't get it. Let's go. Yeah. I say, look, I completely understand. In fact, I just spoke with my general manager and we can get you 99% of exactly what you're looking for. What my GM is offering since you're being flexible with the new car is a $1,500 be flexible coupon. (laughs) What that means is not only will I get you top dollar for your trade, but I'll also add an additional $1,500 to its value to get you the most money you could ever get for. So I'm printing off that coupon now. What time can you make it in this afternoon? Okay. So watch this. What I did is be flexible coupon. coupon. It's a trick. Here's the deal. Let me explain this to you, right? Watch. Hey, because I can't get you exactly what you're wanting, you know what my manager's going to do? My GM, who's super cool, and we appreciate you because we value you, and we want to give you like world-class customer service. But because we don't have this exact car, I had to handle it. I had to. Because the guy's like, if you don't have it, I ain't coming. Okay. And I said, I don't have it. But you know what? Because I have most of what you want, you know, 90%, 95%, right? 99%, whatever. Yeah. And I'll say, look, we're going to offer a be flexible coupon. That means this. Not to do with anything with the price. Obviously, you haven't seen this customer yet, right? If you haven't seen them, you haven't seen their trade. That means the trade's going to have to get appraised when you get there. So you say, I'm going to offer you a $1,500 Be Flexible coupon, right, for the travel. And then guess what happens? We'll see you guys when you get here. I'll go ahead and get that printed off now. And guess what? There is no such thing as a coupon, okay? But what there is, is there's a Sharpie, okay? And when you pencil the deal, right, the manager says, trade's worth eight grand. Well, guess what? You offered them $1,500 Be Flexible coupon. You show them $6,500 plus $1,500 for the Be Flexible coupon. Now you're at eight grand and you got a deal. Yep. Okay, it's called creating your own reality. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Some of you guys, you may be like, Andy, my manager ain't going to go with that. I want to explain this stuff. One day you're going to understand, right, that all these missed deals, right, my goal is to get people in, get them in now. We sell the appointment, we don't sell the car. But sometimes you have that extra difficult customer. And I want you guys to never let anyone leave or escape. We say the word Alcatraz, you know, nobody escapes, right? 
So my goal is, is if that guy won't budge, I can't get that car. I don't have it. He's like saying, hey, send me a picture of it. Mm -hmm. You know that guy? And you're like, God, this guy. Guess what? I'm going to call him, put it to bed, handle it. So I got the Be Flexible coupon. I'll handle it. And guess what? Since you're being flexible, we'll go ahead and print that off. My GM's super cool. And then we'll see when you get here. (laughs) Okay. Hey, by the way, listen, the goal is nothing works 100% of the time. Not what he said, not what he said, and not what I said. The goal is for you to learn multiple word tracks for an objection so that when that objection comes in, you have multiple ways to overcome it and to handle it. Listen, no, if anybody ever tells you their word tracks work 100% of the time, they're a liar, okay? Your goal is to be so weaponized, though, that you understand how to navigate through all different types of obje- objections and be confident while you're doing it, okay? All right, let's go to the next one. I'm going to send you out. Okay. I'm going to keep him in. This is the tie. What's up, Matt? I just say, man, you came in from the big dog car because you're a big dog. Why don't you leave fifty thousand dollar deposit with me right now? When he gets in, you can pick it up. Oh, oh, you're a hitter. oh! You don't have, oh, you, oh, you don't have the fifty. Yeah, you're a hitter. Cool, dude. man. Let's just look at one in Stockton. Hey, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you know that. What's that fifty cent song? You a window shopper? You know what I'm right? You guys remember that back in the day? <laughs> all right, maybe not. All right, all right. I know you remember that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. I was window shopping now. Like, <laughs> yeah. I got in the car business, you know? Uh, all right, all right, all right. We're going to have fun. We're going to go to the next one. All right, second one is I call you on a specific unit. You tell me that you still have it, right? I'm like, hey, hey, I was calling about that car. You still got it. But I say, hey, but there's a dealership closer to me that has the same car, right? And you already know that they've gutted the price of this guy. Yeah. So they're like, hey, I can buy this new Maxima for, I don't know, twenty seven six fifty five, yeah, and guess what? And you're like, damn, man. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, that's like crazy. everything in, in the yeah. son, the mom, everything. Mm-hmm. They got it on there. Mm-hmm. Guess what happens? He says, if you can beat that deal, mm-hmm. right, I'll come down. Mm-hmm. But you already know that you can't beat it. Mm-hmm. And maybe even go to your manager and you say, hey, man, I got this guy. This is what he's got. We've got the car. He's just want to know if we can beat it. And your manager says, no. Mm-hmm. How do you handle that? I would say, hey, Andy, sounds like you've done all the work for me. You've taken the guesswork out of this thing, man. I love it. When you come down, I'm going to make you a promise. I'm going to hit on all the critical areas, not just the price of that car, but a lot of different things that matter to you and your family. So I'm going to tailor my presentation to everything that matters to you. The car is the easy part. The price is the easy part. What time are you going to be here? And we'll make this happen. Well, let me ask you a question. I appreciate that, but can you beat the price? Yeah. Hey, Andy, the price has never stood in the way for us. So when you come down, let's just make sure it's the right model, the right car. You'll spin around the block real quick and make this easy. Okay, cool. I love it. it. But I know it's the right car. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to know if you can get a better price. Yeah. We're the number one dealership in town. So, dude, don't worry about the price. The price is the easy part. When you come down, we'll go over all the features, make sure it matches up because the cars can have a lot of different things, a lot of different packages. Since you know that this is the right car, all we have to do is make that price work for you. Um, and there's a lot of different things I'm sure that comes in, uh, you know, into play with that, which could be your trade, you know, what your credit is. And I'm sure if all of those things are perfect, you're going to be driving off here with your family. You guys going to be happy. Okay. Good job. Hey, listen, I, listen, I kept hitting him. Did you hear this? <laughs> listen, I kept hitting him. Does enthusiasm change? No. Nope. No. He stayed with me. Okay. Most of the people, when they get hit with the, an objection, and maybe if I say, you know, you did a good job, hit me with it. I said, no. He hit me with it again. I said, no. He hit me again. I said, no. And guess what happens? I didn't drain his momentum. So you know what happens? There probably will be a conviction that he's so sold on what he's telling me that I will become unsold on how I feel. And more than likely, I'll gravitate towards what he's saying and I'll go in. Does that make sense? That's the whole goal. Remember, anyways, as you say this, most salespeople, they can make it through the first round. But once they get a no, they drop off. Most people can barely make it through the second. What about a third? I took him three rounds on that. He didn't lose enthusiasm. He didn't lose momentum. That's important. 
You guys steal what he just did. I'm pointing that out. All right, bring your brother in. I want you to stay here. All right. Yeah, we're going to bring your brother in. Bring him in. Bring him in. Bring him in. Bring him in. All right. All right, let's have fun. Let's rock and roll. All right. So here's the deal. I call you on a specific unit, right? And you tell me you still have the car. We'll say it's a new car, okay? Yeah. Nissan Maxima, whatever. Yeah. And I say, all right, so I got a dealership that's closer to me. Yeah. They're closer to me. And they have the same exact car. Sure. And they've given me this price. When sure. I give you that price, you're like, damn. Sure. You know, they've gutted this, they've gutted it, they've gutted it, sure. okay? You know your manager ain't even going to offer a better price than that. It ain't even going to happen. He says, hey, if you get a better price on this, I'll drive down there and do business. But if not, I think I'm just going to get this great deal I got at the dealership closer to me. Can I use my exact scenario on how Done. I use it? Okay, cool. Um, Andy, that's super awesome that you've taken the time out of your day to do your research. I'm a true professional, and I like to make sure that I give you the best experience possible. I guarantee you it's going to be better than the guy that's giving you this crazy price, but that's not a big deal. Bring that quote in. What we do here at our dealership that's a little bit different than everybody else is we offer a lifetime powertrain warranty on that car. That's not going to be done anywhere else in Colorado, I assure you. And you're not going to get the best salesman in Colorado that's willing to take you, take your deal in consideration, get you a great deal, but also take care of you for the next several years. Does that sound great? Okay. Hey, that's great. Oh, Hold on. Don't, don't clap yet. Don't clap. Don't clap. Hey, I appreciate it. Everything you're saying is amazing, but I'm only going to keep the car for two years. So I don't okay. think the powertrain is going to be important. Could you just get me a better price? Sure. And a lot of people always call and it's all about the price, but I guarantee you it's still about the person and the dealership that you buy a car from. We have an excellent family that owns our dealership. We've been in business since 1963 and we deliver for our customers. So I promise you, you're still going to want to get a car from a guy that will take care of you that's and your family. Does. <laughs> hey, did you guys see I told them no? Yeah, them right? All right, all right. Hey, guys, my man right here or Ian? Which one? Oh. <laughs> man, that was a landslide. <laughs> huh? Hey, hey, we got, we, well, hey, we, uh, one guy did say Ian over here. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> all right, all right, hey, all right. Who who is this in here? Oh, you came in last. All right, yeah. you go in the hallway, Evan. I got you. Ian's in the hallway. Damn it, Ian, you're in the hallway. <laughs> they're, they're twins, man. I I, got, I always got to look for the beard. I'm like, yeah. let me see right here. All right, hey, Alex, you got it? Yeah. Hey, that was a good one. Do you guys like that? Yeah. And listen, as you're seeing this, man, you're recreating yourself and you're building yourself. Okay? All right, let's roll. So, all right, this is going to be a good one right here. Okay. All right, cool. So, I call you on the phone. Notice I'm hitting some phone objections. Yeah. I normally Thank don't you. hit a lot of phone objections, okay? The reason why I'm hitting phone objections is because literally, I think due to COVID, and I mean this, I think that the phone is going to be the one thing that's going to change the de deciding factor from you hitting that big unstoppable number is being deadly on the phone. And what you have to learn is that you're not always going to have somebody in front of you to put your arms around, okay? You've got to be able to handle stuff on the telephone, okay? The guy that's the deadliest on the phone is going to make the most money. So I want you to learn how to be great on the phone. So I'm using some stuff that's real life you guys can take back, and you can transplay a lot of this in person when people are in front of you too, right? If it works on the phone, it damn sure works in person, okay? All right. So here we go. So I call on the phone and I inquire about a few cars. Okay. okay? Um, you ask for the appointment. Hey, Andy, you know, I appreciate it. Hey, what time can you make it in? And I respond, I just started my vehicle search, so I'm not doing anything for a few weeks. Overcome that. Great, Andy. Have you ever won the lottery? Uh, no. Great. Well, you just did. Okay. So I'm going to make it easy for you to buy a car. You're going to get the best experience and it's going to be super easy buying a car for me. We're super transparent. We're here for you. We do business the best in town. I guarantee if you come in, spend a couple of minutes with me, not only will you buy this car for me, but you'll buy hundreds more. That sounds good. What time can you be here? Yeah, I appreciate it. But I'm still waiting a couple weeks though. And you seem like a great person. So when I'm ready, I'll make sure I reach back out to sure. you. Sure. And what's going to make you wake up, made it wait? What's going to make you wait a couple weeks? Are okay. you just going to be shopping around looking for cars? Yeah, maybe just, you know, kind of taking my time. This is something I don't like to move fast through. Okay. And I don't, you know, I don't like to move fast through a lot of things either. But if you're on this, these specific cars that you're calling, they're not going to last long, Andy. So I assure you, if you come to us now and at least spend a few minutes just seeing if you even like the car, because God knows you don't even know what they look like. You've never met me. Once we do all that, then dude, if you got to wait, wait, I don't really care either way, but I still want to be able to help you find the right car for you. And it sounds like this might be that one. Am I right? Hey, there you go. Cool. All right, listen, hold on. Now listen, guys, listen to me. Is that a tricky objection? Yeah. Listen, I just want to tell you, imagine I walk up to any of you and I'm just like, hey, Reggie, guess what? I'm going to wait a few weeks. Thank you. At that point in time, they are not in front of you. If the guys, the, 
if the yeah, guys and yeah, no, 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 I got it. I know how we, I know how we're doing it. But, but that's my deal. Well, I hit him. He has to respond within two seconds. Yeah. That's real life. Yeah. Okay. Sharp, quick, fast response. Be immune to pressure. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna bring his brother. In. Bring the brother in. Let's roll. All right. So check this out. Here's my goal. Did you hear exactly? I want you to think about when you're up here, Jordan. Exactly what you would say on that spot, right? Would you get stuck stuttering, or would you know what you want to say? This is a very common objection, okay? Very common. All right, here we go. So, okay, so I call you on the phone. I inquire about a few cars, okay? And then you tell me about them. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. You know what? I like that. And you say, hey, you know what time can you make it? And you ask for the appointment, okay? But I respond back to you. I just started my vehicle search, and I don't think I'm going to be doing anything for a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Andy, most of my customers are just like you. They're putting in the time and the effort uh, before they meet me to shop around get all the information. I'm your true tailored professional, so anything that you're looking for, I'm gonna make sure that I can provide. So let's get you all the information that you need, and then that way you can make the right decision for your family. What time will you be here tonight? And we'll go over everything. Yeah, so basically, I just wanted to do the, kind of maybe like just a phone call to get general information. Right. And then when we're actually ready in a few weeks, um, I think that we'll come in. Right, right. Andy, have you ever heard of like an apartment locating service or like a realtor or anything like that? Yeah. Can I ask you? I've heard of a realtor, yeah. Okay, so you've heard of a realtor when you did you buy a house? Uh, yeah. Okay. Most of the time the realtor, what they're going to do is they're going to go and search out everything that you like. Like if, is the, if the backyard's big enough, you know, how, uh, where the, uh, part, where the house is located, things like that. So well, I'm going to do the same thing for you. I'm going to go over everything that you want. And then when it comes time in the three weeks, you're going to call me. I'm going to make this so easy for you. Okay. You guys got it. Now listen, think about this. Hold on. I want you guys to think about this. This is a tough objection. Would you agree? Yeah. Watch this. I'm going to show you this. You're watching these two guys right now and you're sitting here, okay? The objection is, I'm not doing anything for a few weeks, right? All right, I'm not doing anything for a few weeks, okay? Stand up. Yeah, you ready? Hey, I'm not doing anything for a few weeks, go. Why not, what's stopping you? Uh, I just wanna wait a couple weeks, I just started my search. Well, if you lost your keys, would you keep looking them, looking for them? Uh, yeah, I mean, I might, I mean, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> All right, that's good. All right, here, stand up. I got you, Jesse, come on, Jesse. Here's your objection, okay? I'm not doing anything for a few weeks. Okay, uh, as of right now, I'll tell you that the way inventory is, for one thing, it's very low right now, so if you found something you like, just come in, I'll spend the time with you, go over everything, and make it work for you. Yeah, I'm not wanting to come in, though, for a few weeks, so I, I appreciate you. I just wanted, wanted to get some information. Okay, but watch. That's the way most people run. And what changes in a few weeks? Nothing changes what in a couple changes, of weeks. The only thing so let me is, ask you a question, Andy. Go Why don't you just come in? We'll make sure that everything is laid out for you. That way, in a few weeks, you have the easiest car buying opportunity. You can stop in. Everything's already done for you. You have all the models that you want to look at, and you don't have to waste your time. It sounds like time's important to you, so let's just crush that time. Come on in, and let's pick out a car for the next few weeks. I love it, and I want you to understand this, okay? Rule number one, when you're when somebody says that they're, they're waiting a couple weeks, and they're, they're doing some research, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. The first thing you always got to do is sell the appointment and say, hey, that's wonderful. Look, why don't you come in? I give you all the research. At least that way, when you are ready, you have everything you need. Okay? Get them in because you get them here, you're going to close them. But what if you can't sell them on the appointment? There is that person out there. Am I right? Yeah. Then you have to ask why. The next question would be why. You know what I'm saying? Why, why would you wait a couple weeks? Let's just say, I'm just going to say that everything was right on the car and you loved it. But why would you want to wait a couple weeks? Can I ask that question? You need to shut up and let them tell you why. Well, I just want to make sure I have enough research. Okay, that makes them know that they're a research person. So guess what happens? You need to tailor your objection handling only to research because that's that kind of person. But the main deal is you don't want to stick through it. Move through the objection and get on with the appointment. Always get back to it. Never get stuck into, into basically going and being sold that this customer is going to wait a couple weeks. And most people do become sold that they're going to wait a couple weeks and you jump off of getting the appointment, you get deflated and you move on to the next deal. You don't fight hard enough and you're not relentless to get that deal, okay? Anyways, as we're doing this, I want you to think, if I was to hit you with it, what would you say? You know what I'm saying? I want you to have something tattooed on your heart because when you get up here, really what you wanna say and what you know is what comes out. Mm -hmm. Am I right? right? And if you have nothing there, guess what? Nothing comes out. Does that make sense? And that's why I got these two twins going back and forth, and they're doing a great job. With that being said, on this one, number three, the phone inquiry I just started. This is my search. I'm waiting a couple weeks. Who do you guys give it to? Yeah. We got Ian. We got Evan. 
Alright, right. we got a hundred people in the room. Raise, raise your hands if 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 Ian won. Alright, hands down. Raise your hand if Evan won. No, no, that's a, I think some people were there. That's a majority. All right. All right. Yeah. They looked to say, all right, so Evan, go up on that one. All right. Let's switch. Let's go out. This is going to be a good one right here. This next one is going to be something that's going to be fun. We're going to do it right here on the whiteboard. All right. Let's roll. Here we go. Actually, let me write something down. I'll hand this to you. Okay. I'm going to write a scenario. Okay. Let's just say Ian gave me a pen. Let's just say this is a pencil. By the way, I want this to be about two minutes. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Okay. So let's not run through it forever. Quick, fast. Tell me what's on your heart. Boom, let's try to close it up, okay? okay? This is going to be the deal. He sells Nissans. So we're going to say he's got a brand new Nissan. Okay, we'll say it's a Maxima. Cool? All right. The price is going to be thirty-four nine. Okay? And you're giving a $2,000 discount on it. And that brings it to thirty-two nine. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. you're gonna hit me with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Here you go. And then I'm gonna give you an objection. Okay, cool. Andy, the card that you chose, the Nissan Maxima, is thirty-four thousand nine hundred. We already discounted the card to uh, two thousand dollars, so it's thirty-two nine. Go ahead and sign here, and we're gonna get this all cleaned up and washed for you. Okay, cool. Yeah, Andy. yeah. Thank you. No, so I appreciate it. So what I want to tell you is, so obviously I haven't had a new car. I haven't had a new car in about seven years. Okay, sure. yeah. so you know they're also nice now, right? Yeah. Um, also went and looked at a new Kia Optima SXL. Right, mm -hmm. it was a nice car, and um, anyways, it was priced at thirty four nine two, but they're giving five thousand dollars in discounts. Mm -hmm. So my deal is, is that this is a new car to me. It's nice. I'd yeah. rather have a Nissan. But at the end of the day, if the max, if the the Optima is going to be five thousand dollars less. I mean, I think I would go back over there. So if you can match the price mm -hmm. of the twenty nine nine that I can buy the Optima for, I'll stay and do business on the Maxima. Yeah, sure, Andy. And it sounds like that you've done a lot of the research, and so I really appreciate that. You told me that you needed the car to do X, Y, Z. Um, the car met all of those uh, those features, right? Is that what that meant, right? Yeah. So it met everything here. We've already discounted the car to the market price. Look, these Maximas are nice. You loved it. You smiled. You were having so much fun. That car is already pre-discounted to what the market price is. Our car is going to hold its value. So that way, when the car has 100,000 miles and you come to trade it in, or 50,000 miles, you we've already taken the guesswork out of what that car is going to be worth by not discounting it a ton. It's going to hold its market value better. So go ahead and sign here, Andy. And then also, let me ask you, how are you going to pay for this? Are you going to do cash now or do you need a couple days to uh, write us a check and hold it? What works for you? Okay, stop. All right. Listen, did you guys hear his presentation? Hold on. All right. Here's what I want to do. Let's grab uh, an eraser. Give me an eraser. Let's bring his brother in. We're going to do the same exact deal. Good job. We're going to do the same exact scenario, guys. All right, here we go. Same exact one. Here we go. All right, so here's what we got. Okay, cool. Cool. Mama says we got a couple more minutes, and then lunch is going to be lunchtime. Then we'll pick right back up after lunch, and we'll roll. Okay? So here's the deal. This is, and by the way, your competitors sometimes got a better deal, am I right? Yeah. You got to know how to handle that, all right? So here's the deal. You got a brand new Nissan, okay? It's a uh, 34.9. You had a $2,000 discount on it. Okay. Okay, that brings it to 32.9. Go ahead and present that to me. Okay, Andy, the car that you chose specifically was 34900 with a $2,000 discount after your taxes and fees, it's 32900 Go on ahead and sign right there and we'll get it all cleaned up. Oh, and by the way, Andy, did you want your payment at the beginning, middle, or end of the month? Okay, good job. Hey, check this out. I appreciate that. Listen, I haven't had a new car in about six years. Sure. So the idea of it is, is that I went and looked at some uh, some Kia Optimas as well. Sure. Right, some harder loaded ones. Sure. And theirs was about thirty four nine. Okay. But they're offering me five thousand dollars in discounts, yeah. which would bring my sale price down to twenty nine nine. Absolutely. Um, they're both new cars to me. I haven't had a new car in a long time, so I'm like I'm in love with both of them. Mm -hmm. But this would be my first pick. Mm -hmm. But if it came down to money, I'd buy the Optima. So what I wanted to give you is an opportunity to match the Optima price at twenty nine nine. And then I would say and buy yours. Sure, Andy. And, and cheaper's not always better. Am I right? Sure. And you did say you liked our car a little bit better. Am I right? Sure. So you got to pay a little bit more to play in the game of the cars that you chose that you like the best. So that is what our car is. And, it, and it, th that's the price that it's going to go for, Andy. Not only that, but our car is backed by that lifetime powertrain warranty that we went over with you. Did you like me? 
Yeah. And you like the car. Yeah. This car is going to be the greatest car for you. Just go on ahead and sign right there and we'll get it all done. done so, so what, so what I did is I, I did some payment calculator in my head right at the 30 grand on the Optima. And mm -hmm. that was kind of like right where I wanted to be. Sure. So that's why I was hoping you could match that same deal. Yeah. But Andy, don't worry about the payment calculator. Let's do, we'll get through all of that. And I have a trained finance professional that I'm sure will make this car go within your budget. Um, so that's not a huge deal for me. I just want to make sure number one, that you're comfortable with me. You like the car, obviously. So mm -hmm. we're already past where the Kia Optima is on your critical levels of buying am i right so if we've already hit on all most of those critical levels i get you're going to pay a little bit more but you also got to pay for more of the stuff that you love could you see if they could do a better deal on it andy if i had to do that then i wouldn't be being transparent with you man and that's why you like me that's why we get along i'm not going to come back with a second best price third best price i always am transparent up front with my best price okay good job okay, okay. all right listen hey i want you to listen to this hey Yeah, at, at that Andy that, looked at my soul a little bit. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that, yeah. I could see he wanted something hey. more. I was like, oh, oh, give it more. Hey. <laughs> Here's the goal: is that at the end, right there, right? He should have said, "Have I offended you in any way yeah. by giving Why you giving my best price up front? Yeah. Have I? Yeah. No. Thank goodness. Yeah, thank God. And then close them up. But here's here's my point: is that look, and, and we're not going to move into this, all right? You guys seen how we do the depreciation deal, right? Yeah, I love that's one of my favorite. I would have straight yeah. smoked this dude on the depreciation. Yeah. I said, yeah, a little more or less in payment now to have to come out five thousand yeah. to eight thousand dollars cash down when you go to trade the car back in in three years. <laughs> yeah, are you serious? Yeah, no thanks. Okay, well, we'll show you this after lunch, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, well, I'm going to pick back up on this after lunch, and we're going to pick right back up on this, and we're going to run through this, okay? They're getting everything ready. So, look, hey, let me ask you this, right? Who in here has learned a lot from the training this morning? Do you feel, and I'm going to ask this question. Do you guys feel like you're learning some skill that you can use to go back into the dealership? Yes. Think about it. Has it been worth it so far? Yes. Yes. Hey, here's what I want you to do. Think about your head, right? Think about right now what's going on in here. Has anybody in here completely just re like realized who they're going to be when they go back home? And realize that no one else is going to stop you. No one from becoming the person that you were made to be. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. Look, winning is a habit and so is losing. Okay. There's, there's so many testimonies and stories. And a lot of you guys I've trained in your store and that's how you're here. A lot of you guys, you came out, you watched one YouTube video. You're like, dude, I'm going to get in. Here we go. And you're here. And guess what? It was like hell getting here because your mind kept trying to talk you out of coming. You know what I'm saying? Trying to keep you to play comfortable. And I'm going to tell you this, we haven't got through everybody yet, right? But the goal is by five o'clock, by the time just you leave, started. guys, we're just getting started. No, listen, we could, I could run a seminar for literally five weeks every day and we would cover different stuff. That's how it is. Anybody that's ever came every time, it's completely different. Is this different than last time? Done. I change it completely. Yeah. Every single time I push myself and I push you guys and I try to bring a little tougher objections to the table. Yeah. I try to build real life scenarios, right? That literally in here we cover, you figure it out, you take notes, you write down what you think, you, what, what's going on here. You understand the concept of the objection. When people say no, if they say no, if you can get people to turn that no into a yes, you're worth all the money. That's called objection handling skill. That's what we're on. We're going to work at the last part on closing and negotiating, okay? Like on the pencil. Okay, so Physically. we're going to take a lunch break in a minute, but who won this last battle? Just so people on virtual can Oh, see wow. Them. Okay, guys. Yeah, let's roll. Who won the last battle? Who won the last battle? Yeah. Yeah. All right, hold on. This is Evan. You did better. Than this is Ian. Yeah. 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 Come on, guys. Where's Team Evan at? <laughs> all right, all right. Alex, put Ian on. All right. All right, you got a good one. I got a good one. Okay, all right, all right. So we're, and by, by the way, I'm going to say this. It's number five here. Mm -hmm. And basically at this point, Ian is behind one. You know what I'm saying? Here's the cool thing about competitive nature. You don't have to be up here to understand what it would be like if you were up here, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Hope you guys had a great lunch. Guess what? Crushing it, killing it. We got the first half of the virtual Master Closer Seminar. Master Closer Seminar done. Guys, it's insane, man. This right here will change your life. Make sure you got a pen, you got a paper. Make sure you're literally like listening to everything that we're saying. Anything that resonates with you, write it down. And then like I said, we're getting ready for round two, game time. We are going to go and crush it.
You guys ready to roll? Let's get Craig Craig! Yeah. All right. All right, all right, all right. So here's what we're gonna do, guys. Number one, we're gonna finish this little back battle with the Macklins, okay? Let's, yeah, let's finish this out. Let's rock and roll. Guys, second half, round two. Get your cafecito in, right? Get some water, rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you stay focused. Right now, what your body's wanting to do, it's saying, hey man, you know what? We got some training. I think we're done. No, we're not. You're just getting warmed up. The rest of it, yeah, is going to be objection handling and closing. It's all going to be from here on out. And then marketing. We're going to go right into marketing right after this, okay? Because some of you guys, it's not like you don't work hard. You just don't have your day scheduled right. right. We're going to cover that. I'm going to show you how to freaking plan a day to just like literally assassinate the whole store, okay? So let's get ready. Let's rock and roll. We finished on the, uh, what do we finish on? Well, right now, this is where we're at. Yeah, he, Evan is up by one. Okay? He's up by one. I usually let him get up. Yeah. No, no, he does. He li yeah, he likes to give him the taste of a win and then rip it away. Okay, guys. All right, so we're on scenario number five. Scenario number five. We're going to handle this. We'll rock and roll. I know we're running behind. We're supposed to be doing marketing, but we're gonna finish this and we'll go straight into marketing and we'll move. We're gonna cover everything, we're gold, okay? All right, so this is gonna be, we gotta send one of you guys out of here. Okay, you ready though? Yeah, we're ready. Okay, we're, yeah, ready. we're just making sure. Oh, hey, 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 let's say something real quick. By the way, this is for everybody virtual. This is for everybody here, okay? I want you to do this, right? This is important. I'm gonna give away five, I said this, I'm gonna give away five overcoming objection scores. I think you asked me about that a little bit ago. You said, hey man, you started that and you never finished it. I was like, yeah, welcome to have an ADD. All right, listen, I, with this, by the way, this new objection handling course, it's freaking wicked. It is absolutely wicked. It's a new one, it just came out. We dropped it Tuesday. I haven't even put it out on YouTube or anything. Like, we just dropped it. Uh, Mo, you took it, you listened to it the whole way here, right? What'd you think? It's, I mean, it's wicked. I cover every objection. You print it out, right? So you have the objection and how to handle it word for word. All, we covered 60 of them, the most 60 hardest objections in the store. And then on top of that, I, I do them with video. I show you not only how to handle it, the same exact word track, but I show you three, four, five, six different ways to cover the same objection in different spots. So you become very familiar with it, right? So it's cool, it's a great one. But my goal is, is that look, buy it, cool, rock and roll, guess what? I'm going to give away five of them today, whether five virtually or here, okay? I want you guys to do me a favor, right? We've got this Instagram here, right? I told you guys. It's at Official Andy Elliott. Official Andy Elliott. Official Andy Elliott. Two L's, two T's. What? <laughs> is that hard? Yeah, you're like, it's uh, like you, you know. Well, I had to it's look at name. it real quick. Yeah. It's my name. <laughs> Listen. Damn it. Damn it. All right. It's official Andy Elliott. And then also on top of that, we got Car Sales Nation, okay? We want you to tag your account, and then we want, us to, we want you to tag me, tag us, okay? And here's the kicker. I want to tell you this. Whoever posts, so if you're virtual, you're watching the TV right now. Watch, check this out. I'm watching this. I'm like, ah, what's up? Click. There's the virtual. We're training. Cool. I got you. Some of you guys that couldn't make it. But then also on top of that, anybody that's here, guess what? Take a picture with your crew. Somebody here, right? Doing some training. Maybe a little one minute, 60 second clip, whatever. Guess what? Boom. Pop that sucker out there. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? Whoever causes the most attention tonight, right? When we're done, I'm going to go back. We'll check out the social media. Once we get back to the house, we'll pick five people. And guess what? We'll jump on Facebook Live. We'll give away five courses. Cool? Wow. I'm just saying, if you're an action taker, take it. I got December, it. December, it's a season of giving. That's yeah, yeah, and I like giving away stuff and helping people out. You know what I'm saying? And the, But anyways, the idea of it is, that's what I'm talking about right there. Action takers, go. do it, go all in. The course is badass. We're going to give away five of them, okay? So if you're virtual, it counts with you, too. It's the same deal. Anyways, um, we're going to rock and roll. We're ready. Let's get, let's get Ian out of here. Let's get Ian out of here. Let's go. We got number five. Sorry, hold on. Don't start yet. Oops. Okay, we're going to let him get out of here. Mm, okay, it's a good one. All right, so this is going to be the scenario, okay? It's a new car purchase, okay? So I'm calling you about a new car, okay? It's going to be a phone pop. I've been covering a lot of phone stuff, okay? It's going to be a phone pop, okay? And uh, you and a dealer have the same deal, 
But the dealership that I called before is offering me 10 grand on my trade, right? Mm -hmm. And your manager bid mine at eight. Now listen, this is a deal that's already been worked. You know what I'm talking about, okay? Mm -hmm. Like literally, like the manager, right? He got involved, he bid the trade, you know what I'm saying? And then I say, hey man, I appreciate it, but look, I already talked to ABC Motors down the road on the same, same new car. This is your new car competitor. And guess what? They're giving two grand more on the trade. Yeah. Hey, Andy, that's super cool that you did, that you went on ahead and did your research. I was trying to be up fair, you know, upfront and honest with you on that trade value initially. If you're looking to get 10 grand out of the car, again, we have never even seen the car. We might be able to get you more than that. All I know is most of my customers never leave with less money than they really want for the car. But to tell you 10 grand, to tell you 12 grand, to tell you eight grand, I would really love to see the car. Can you bring it by a little bit later? I promise you, I'll bring my used car manager out personally and we'll get you the trade value. And and if it's 10, maybe it's 10, five, we'll get it to you right away. That sound good? Yeah, no, that's fair. And I like that. But look, the deal is, is that obviously I'm going to drive to one or two places. And if they're already guaranteeing my t me 10 and you said eight, well, I'd be crazy just not to go there, right? Well, yeah. And there's a big swing there. I can't guarantee you 10, but I'm not saying that we can't get you 10. All I'm saying is we've done a lot of work. But to they make... already said they could get me 10. Okay. So if we give you 10, it sounds like we're making a deal. Hey, I got you. Where's those whistles? Get those whistles out. <laughs> All right, bring him in. Uh, hey. <laughs> I knew I was going to get him. Hey, I called it. This was going to be the one that was going to get him. <laughs> Did he fall asleep at lunch or not? <laughs> all right, all right. All right, here we go. Here's the scenario, okay? It's a new car purchase, okay? I'm calling on a new car. It's a phone pop, right? <clears throat> so remember, we're on the phone, and I hit you up, and I, I called. Basically, you got the same car as another dealer down the road. I say, hey, you know what? Can you give me a deal? And you're like, yeah, Andy, here's the deal. But I need you to bid my trade. You go get your manager involved, and your manager says the trade's worth eight grand. It's one of those deals. Like, this guy's not coming in unless you work the deal with him. Okay, down the road, they're going to give him 10000 for his trade. You, you talk to your used car manager, your used car manager says, hey, I'm not giving the guy more than eight, period. It ain't worth it. Guess what happens? How do you handle that? I'm on the phone. Go. Okay. Hey, Andy, I got your trade appraised. It looks like it's really nice. What time can you bring it here? Because it looks like we're really close on your car. Okay, cool. So I've already got the 10 at the other store, and obviously you told me earlier eight, right? But they're going to give me 10 for sure. So if I can't get better than that, I might as well just go straight there. Andy, I'm available here in the next hour. Do you have a minute where we can stop by and we can drive it over to my used car manager? We can take a look at it, you me, you, me, and him? Yeah, I really don't. But if you could get me better than 10, I'll come down. Andy, it sounds like money's really important to you in this deal. Am I right? Yeah. So getting the best price on my car is also important to you, right? Yeah, and you guys both have the same price. Yeah, yeah. So we have the same price and we have the same price on the trade. Come on down and let's just make this easy and we'll figure it out. Well, you don't actually have the same price on the trade because you're giving me 10. Well, I haven't told eight. you what my price is, right, Andy? Eight. Yeah. No, no, no. I haven't told you what my price is. Right? Yeah, you haven't? Yeah, no. I haven't are you, told you. Are no, you I, haven't, I haven't told you. Yeah, Andy, I haven't told you what my <laughs> price is because that wouldn't be fair. I don't really care what the other dealer is giving you. Here's the deal. I know what my price is and I know my price is going to be the best in town. So when you come down and you and I drive this car, you and I look over the car, then we're going to agree to the price. And I'm sure it's going to be the best price. Andy, don't worry about that. What time are you going to be here? If you can tell me you can beat the 10, I'll be on my way. Andy, I'm going to make it work no matter what. That's what I'm telling you. Hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. Hold on. All right. Answer the damn question. <laughs> hey. All right, listen. Hey, all right, all right. All right, who do we got? Ian, Evan. Oh, yeah. Ian. All right, all right, hey. Looks Woo! like... Hey, looks like... Hey, looks like it's a tie now. All right, all right, you going out. Come on, man. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. So, so number one, so I call you. Okay, hey, we're sticking on the phone, guys. This is good. Yeah, phone, this phone's great because nobody trains on the phone. Yeah. Okay, so they're great. It's a great mix. All right. So I call you on the phone. You have the car I like, but because of COVID, I don't want to come in. Okay. You offer to bring it to me, and I say no. How do you handle that? Hey, I appreciate it. No, I know you can bring it to me, but look, I, I just think right now we're going to hold off. Thanks for giving me the information. Andy, safety is really important to me. It's important to our dealership. We're a family-owned dealership. We've been here since 1963. Nothing is more important to us than your safety. What's going to be most comfortable for you to move forward with this purchase? I'm going to make this the easiest thing for you, but I also want to make it the most comfortable. 
what's going to work? I'm going to stop. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right, bring the next one in. No, because he, he, he made me give him the answer on how this is going to work. That's good. Next. All right, all right. We're on number six here, guys. Okay, so I call you. You have the car that I like, right? Okay. okay. But because of COVID, I don't want to come in. Okay. Also, you say, oh, it's cool, no big deal. You know what? I'll bring it to you. And I say, no, mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. How do you handle it? Okay, Andy, it sounds like there's a lot. I mean, there's obviously a lot going on in the world. And our goal here, we're a family-owned business, is to make you and your family, number one, the safest and the most comfortable with your purchase. So go on ahead. Just tell me. You can be perfectly honest with me. What's holding you back? Uh, just really getting around anybody right now. I really don't know what, what to do. I know I want to get a car, but I don't want to come into you, and I really don't want you coming to me. Right, Andy. So we can come up with a process that makes it simplest for you. All I need to know is, is that you like the car and you like the price, and then we're good. We'll figure that out. And you tell me what's most comfortable for you. Let's put it on you, Andy. Tell me what you would like us to do. Are they twins? Yeah. <laughs> Are these guys twins or what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, so that's a tie. That's a tie because they said. I gave him a trick there. I, get, I sent him a message so he would, you know, get fucked up. <laughs> 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 that was good. That was good, guys. Okay, all right. All right. You stay, you go out. Okay. Okay. Okay, all right. Here we go. I call you on a specific unit, you have it in stock, right? I say to you that I'm reaching out to every dealership mm -hmm. to get the very best price. How do you handle that? Yeah, Andy, hey, dude, that's totally cool, man. I love that everybody or guys like you reach out and try to do the most research and everything. It sounds like, number one, you're just trying to get the best deal. All of us are trying to save money, especially with COVID. The times are going on. It's a little crazy. So, number one, it sounds like important. Time is, or it sounds like time and money are important to you. Good news is, is you got the best guy in the business. I'm going to make it super easy for you to get the best price and payment and everything that works for you. So, what time can you be here, Andy? Let's get it going. Yeah, yeah. So what I want to do is just basically get the best price. And then what I'll do is loop back around to you at the end sure. if you're the best price. And sure. really, I'm just going to buy for the place that can give me the best price. Yeah. And that's and that's okay to do. I totally get it. But it sounds like you're going to be spinning your wheels a little bit. You're going to call a bunch of stores. Nobody's going to give you prices or there's going to be a lot of Mickey Mouse stuff going on. Number one, we're a family owned business. We've been doing this a long time. Just come on down. I promise you, you've already done. It sounds like you've been doing your research already. You kind of know where the cars are going to fall, right? So Come on down, let's make it easy for you, and we'll move forward and make it quick. Yeah, if I don't get a price, you definitely won't get my business. Well, I mean, Andy, come on, man. Here's the deal, though. If you come on down, I'm going to make sure you get the best price. It sounds like you already, have you done, it sounds like, have you called it any other places? Sure. Okay, so you kind of know what the price is going to fall, am I right? Yeah. Okay, well then give us a chance. At some point, you're going to have to go in the car, store and see the car and possibly drive the car. Have you done that? Yep. Okay, cool. So come on down, let's make it easy for you, and I promise you, you won't have to worry about the best price. I am worried about it. Yeah, I know you are, Andy. It sounds like it, dude, and you're diligent, and I get that you're diligent, but you got to trust me. If somebody is going to sell you a car, and it's going to be me, and I'm going to make sure you get the best deal. Okay. Andy. Let's do that on the phone. Trust me, Andy. <laughs> okay, hold on. Listen, hey, you guys have this tough customer, am I right? Yeah. This guy exists, yeah. and the deal is, is that when he runs, you either have to take control of him, which is good. I want to explain this to you. He is trying his hardest to maintain control mm -hmm. because if you give this guy control, and I'm just going to tell you this, he will treat you like a punk, mm -hmm. okay? He won't respect you. He'll never get back to you, and you'll be a slave to him, okay? I'm just telling you, that's good. You got one shot. You know what I'm saying? Go all in. If you don't set an appointment with this guy, I'm not saying that you can't work him over the phone and get the deal done right, but the idea of it is is that this is the way that people work that are these shoppers, you know what I'm saying? They're really not emotional and they're just number people. That's it. Good job, man. You stayed with it. And I was trying my hardest to get him to crack and he stayed. Good job. Bring the next one in. Good job, guys. Stay there. Good job. If they just hang up on you, then guess what? They're not interested in buying a car. Okay? And by the way, if they just hung up on you, more than likely, even if you sold them a car, they'd smoke you on your CSI and guess what? You'd get trashed out by your manager. He'd be like, hey, why are you taking care of people like this? You didn't do anything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, the goal is, is that everything you're saying to the guy is the truth. And the fact is, he's going around. I mean, I'm just saying, if a guy beats another car by $100, look, sir, I'll put $100 on the table right now for you to come in. Okay? I'm just saying, because that's what it's going to end up being in the end. Ultimately, you have to find somebody that you want to do business with. And that's where you shine through. That's going to be your silver bullet. No, no, no. He, he's not. We're always talking about closing and selling. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this is what this zone we live in. All right.
So, okay, cool. I call you on a specific unit. You have it in stock, and I say to you that I'm going to be, it's a new car, okay? I'm going to be reaching out to, or we could say use it. Doesn't really, I'm going to be reaching out to every dealership. Let's say it's a new one. Let's go back to that, okay? No, because it, it makes sense. Yeah. Use, it's too tricky. You can get out of it. Okay, so I call you on a, a, on a specific unit, new vehicle. You have it in stock. You say, yeah, you know what? I got it right here in my showroom floor. And I say, okay, cool. I want to get the very best price on that vehicle. And what I'm going to do is I'm calling all the other dealerships. I've already called a couple. I'm going to call all the other dealerships. And whoever gets me the best price is who will get my business in the end. What's your best price? Andy, you know what? I'm so glad that you asked that. You've taken the guesswork again out of what I do here. So by you getting the best price and you already knowing what you want to purchase, super simple. When you come down, we're going to match that up and we're going to make this work. What time are you going to be here to do that? Um, cool. No, I appreciate that. And I can come down. I just need to know what your price is going to be. Yeah, Andy, and I know that you want to know exactly where the price is going to be at. Let's match up everything that you're going to try to do here. Let's narrow it down to make sure that we're on the right equipment because Andy, like you know, these cars can have mud flaps, ETC, whatever that they have on them. I want to make sure that this is easy, transparent, and honest for you. I don't want to skip any detail, Andy, because for what it sounds like is you're a very detail-oriented guy, so let's make sure we match it all up. What time are you going to be here? Okay, cool. Well, this is the price I'm getting at other stores. Can yeah, you beat Andy, it? Yeah, Andy, here's the deal. I don't care what the price is you're getting at other stores. With all due respect, I know that you're going to get the best price because I can tell you're an intelligent guy over the phone. So let's get you down here. Come with your best price, and we're going to make it work. Let me also tell you one thing. We're the number one store in the state. We're not number one for a reason, for a bad reason. We're number one because everybody wants the best price. And when you're a volume dealer like we are, we're going to make sure you have the best price. Everybody gets the best price. That's how you stay in business since 1963, right? Let's go. Okay. All right. All right. All right, guys. All right, so so you guys got to pick. You got my man over here, and you got you got Andrew. Sold it at the end. Hey, all right, so you got Ian, and, and you got Evan. Hey, all right, if, if you're in on Ian, raise your hand. Yeah. All right, and if you're in on Evan, I don't know what you talk raise your hand. about during lunch, but I swear to God. All right, what about Evan? I think that's Ian. Ian got that one, man. He, he just snuck around on that one, man. Okay, all right, so let's let's make sure. We're going into, we're going into number eight. We got three left, all right? Where are we at, Alex? Yeah, number eight. Well, all right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So Ian's up by one. Okay? Ian's up by one. All right, one out, one in. Let's roll. Okay. It's gonna be a two, it's gonna be a two-minute deal. And I want to tell you guys this. Look, first of all, it's almost 2021, okay? You guys have to be great at sending emails. Would everybody agree you have to be great at sending emails? Yes. yes. You have to be great at sending a voicemail if you're gonna leave one. You have to be great at doing video, okay? You have to be great at texting somebody. All these things are crucial. The way that you engage with somebody is everything. This is gonna be a little bit of a different one, okay? And this is gonna be the deal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this to you. I'm gonna let you write this out, okay? We're gonna put them on the clock, right? Ready, go. Here's the deal. What, this is going to be an email. It came in, and the email says, what's your best price on stock number 123A on the 2018 Toyota 4Runner? Thank you, Tom. Anybody ever had that? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Four runner, used 4Runner? Uh, I'm going to use one. Okay. Okay? It doesn't matter. I don't care if it's new or used, but here's the deal. I want you, here, give me a better marker over there. I want you to write your email going back to him. Okay. Okay? No, no, no. Give me a black one. This one sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, here, give me, just give me this. All right, cool, you ready? Yeah. Oh, I want him to write his email, and then guess what? We, you got two minutes, ready, go. Use and mom. Then, mm -hmm, yep, it says, hi, what is the best price on stock number 123A on the Toyota 4Runner? You guys get this all the time. You should think about it. You don't have a phone number, what do you want? Phone number, okay? But also the guy wants a price. Dude, this is what it's about. I'm telling you, the person, you guys get leads. I mean, think about it. How many, of, how many of you in here get leads? How many of those leads come in, right? And they don't have a phone number on them. Lots of them. Hey, when I send in leads, I don't want to put my phone number. I want to see if you'll answer the question. That's the biggest deal. That's why this is tricky. This is good. This will help you guys a lot. 
So thinking fast, thinking on your feet, it's not always just here with like a, an overcoming objections. Hey, if somebody says no, you got to get them to say yes. I mean, that's just it. The guy that can do that every time is the guy that's going to win and make more money than anybody. But also you have to be able to communicate through emails. You know, these leads are coming in through and with COVID, I'm just telling you, they're going to come in more and more and more and more and more. what I'd say. Okay, cool. All right. Want me to read it? Because my handwriting is yes. fucking horrible. No, you read it. <laughs> <laughs> you read it. Go. Okay. So I just said, I basically said, um, I said, that one is nice. I probably put like capitals and shit. Um, sorry. Uh, so I, I put that one is nice. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay. Now, my deal is I just asked you what is your best price. Yeah. I'm going to handle that. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I'm not worried about the price. No, no, no. So, okay. Um, that, that's no. Okay. Concern. Go ahead and read it to me. Yeah, so, so I just said that one's probably not. I said that one is nice, but it's probably not the best pick. Let okay. me explain. Okay. So I said, let me explain. I have a few that are um, what I would say is similar. I, I have a few that are nice, similar with lower miles, but also a little bit cleaner. Would you be interested in, interested in those also? So basically, I'm saying, hey, that one's nice, but I've got a few that are, you know, around the same prices. Some are the, you know, the same miles. Well, I know what you said also? because in an email, you don't get to say any of that. Well, yeah, that's how I would put it. We just know? get to see what you put here. Yeah. Okay. Everybody so see that, it? That one is nice, but I want to, let me explain that the, uh, I have a couple more that are lower miles, a little bit cleaner. Would you be interested in those also? Okay. All right. Listen, you guys got it? You got where he's at? Okay. All right. Send the brother in. <laughs> hey, hey, you weren't ready for that email, were you, Don? And I'm going to let you guys decide. Oh, we got a marker? Okay, we're good. Okay, this is going to be a customer sends you an email. Okay. It's an email. The email says, hi, what's your best price on stock number 123A? Mm -hmm the 2018 Toyota 4Runner. Thanks, Tom. Write me your email back to him. Write me my email back. Hi, yeah, you, you get leads all the time without phone numbers, right? Yeah. Let's go. This guy's asking an easy question. Hi, what's the best stock number on 123A on the 18 Toyota 4Runner? Right. Thanks, Tom. Okay. Just very simple one line, you know that one line lead that comes in? Yeah. You're like, okay, all right. Hey, Tom. And this is just assuming that lead came to me, like. Mm-hmm. Okay. It just came came to you, and it's sitting in your queue. Say, hey, Tom. Thanks for your interest. Yeah, writing emails is huge. I'm telling you guys. And we'll get to it here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I writing? Yeah, and I put it right there on the board so you guys can see it behind you. Sorry, bud. You get good at emails, I'm telling you. It'll change your game because half your leads are going to come in with no phone numbers, right? Half, half the people out on the market, when they, when they inquire about a lead, they inquire through their email. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I know this sounds crazy, but everybody still uses their email. They maybe not check it every day, but they still use their email, okay? A lot of people say, yeah, texting, texting, texting. Yeah, that's right. But also, email is one of the places that you can send mass volume uh, communications where you can't do that through text. You go to send lots of texts in a row, even through a texting system, a lot of times it'll get spammed. Okay? And then guess what? You're sitting there and you think that your text went through and it never went through. You know what I'm saying? You don't know. The cell phone server doesn't tell you that it, they spammed your text. They just don't let it go through. So the goal is, is that utilizing email is crucial. Doing your follow-up through email is everything. I'm just telling you, you know, you can make as many phone calls as you want, but it takes time to take a phone call, right? If you want to do follow-up on a phone call, how long does that take? Five minutes, three minutes, two minutes, you know what I'm saying? You do it through an email, you can do it in one second. Boom. You can just send it to somebody. The, the whole goal of the, have you ever read the book, The Compound Effect? Yeah. Yeah. It's how, how to do more in less time. You know what I'm saying? It's a compound effect. Making your day really count. Now, what? is your subject line like, like and very important as well? Or? Your subject line is crazy important. Okay. Yeah, crazy important. I always use uh, dreams and drive with. That makes them open. 
Yeah, whatever it is, just I'm saying your subject line is great. Yeah. Uh, I know you talk about as men think is, and then you just mentioned the compound effect. Uh -huh. What are some other books that we can listen to or read that you recommend? You know, man, I mean, this has gotten crazy, but in the last year, I haven't been – so, like, I, I like I Can't Hurt Me, David Goggins. Like, that's kind of – you know, like, that's kind of that, that mental deal. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, but on as far as, like, books and stuff like that, there's lots of great books, man. What's that? So is he going to do it before the trip's over? Or, you know, just, you know. Man, dude. I only got about eight more hours in Oklahoma, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I readjusted what I thought. Yeah. I didn't expect that. So uh, this is what I would say. I'd say, thank you, Tom. What's your phone number? Yeah, that's, oh. what, I was yeah, that's what I was All right, all right, hold on. Are you done? Yeah. Okay, all right, read it to us. Okay, I say, th hey, Tom, thanks for your interest in the one-of-a-kind Toyota 4Runner that we got, one of our absolute best vehicles. I'm sure this vehicle hit in some of the high critical areas that are important to you and your family. We use some very expensive tools to make sure this price, this car is priced 85% to the market value, which is why the price you saw on the Internet is the best we, the best we can do. Uh, what time can you be here? What's your what's your phone? What's your contact information? Okay. All right. Now listen. I want to say this to you. You you guys buy stuff, right? Mm -hmm. The best way to figure out and handle how is the best way to handle someone is to think about how you would want to get handled. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, really, I'm telling you, like that's the silver bullet to back yourself into it. Okay. Now you guys saw the way that that uh, Evan did it or Ian did it, and you saw the way that Evan did it, right? Okay. I want to ask you this question, right? Who do you think responded better to the email? Okay, that ain't gonna work. All right, all right. Well, hold on, see that there's some neither in there, right? But here's the question, it's between them two right now. And then we'll talk about what's the best way to handle it. Is that cool? Okay, because this is a tricky one. I mean, seriously, nobody trains over this. Mo, what's up? Probably Ian, because what happens is, let's say based on that email, I probably wouldn't respond because there's no price on it. But at least with Ian, it allows me to respond back to him because there's another interest in the other cars, so let's say if I am interested in the other cars, they're better. I agree. Okay. Okay. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, guys, so if you're with Ian, raise your hand. Okay, and if you're with Evan, raise your hand. Okay, all right, it's, def it's, definitely, it's definitely Ian, okay, but hold on. What is the goal? The goal is to, number one, get a response. Yeah, it is to engage, get a conversation going. But I'm going to tell you something, okay? Your goal is, unless this person's going to stick to the email platform and they're not going to get off, your goal is to get them off the email platform and take them to a phone number. If you don't get a phone number, you have like a 5% chance of closing somebody on email. I mean, seriously, okay? Now, here's the deal. The guy asked a specific question, so how could you word it? By the way, remember how I told you, there's no perfect way because based on how this guy is or how she is, we don't know how the person is on the other end, right? They might be like a crazy analytical person that'd be like, hey, this guy didn't answer my question. You know what? Screw him. I'm not even responding. But if you answered it too, also, guess what? You may never see him again, and guess what? He may just keep sending people emails. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your best chance is going to be to get this guy on the phone. And as a closer, as a salesperson, your goal is to give your best chance to every person. So what I do is I try to convert to try to get a phone number, okay? And this was how I won and sold more cars by leads that came in without emails. So I wrote one. Can you put it up there? Check this out. <clears throat> I put this up here just so you guys can have an idea. Okay, and I just want you to look at it. It says, my name is Andy Elliott, and I'm here to serve you and your family at the highest level, as well as provide you world-class customer service. In regards to your question, we spend tons of money on expensive tools that price our vehicles for us, which guarantees our cars are always priced under market value. But I do have a discount coupon I would love to send you. However, it's only available through text message. What is your cell phone number so I can text you over the additional coupon right now? Hey, Andy, quick question on that. So, 
on your word track app, it's got to be like 90% to get through it. Like, I think I got like 70 or 80% on the that's top true. of that. I didn't, what did Ian get? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think that should override the vote. Cause I think, I mean, I hit on the <laughs> like No, I got no, the listen, that. he handled, he handled a lot of it guys. Listen, I want you to look at it. You see that in regards to your question, yep. right? Yeah. It's like I'm addressing his question. I never answered it. I just said we pay expensive tools that allow us to be the best on the market, okay? I said, listen, but I do have a discount coupon that I like to send over to you. However, it's only available through text message. What is your cell phone number so I can send it over to you right away? Listen, this test, a couple things. Number one, if this guy's serious about looking into buying a car. If I really like the Toyota 4Runner, you know what I'm going to do? Text him. I'm going to send you my number, yeah. okay? Or I'm going to text you. Yeah. But by the way, if I'm not, it shows you my interest. I'm probably, I always say this, there's a funnel, okay? This is how people shop for cars. See this right here? This is the funnel. People are at the top of the buying funnel, which means they're just starting. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then people are at the bottom of the buying funnel, which means if you can get them the right price, they'll come in, they'll buy today. Does that make sense? And then there's people that are just in between. My goal is, is that look, if I send this over to the guy, I want to find out where he's at in the buying funnel based on the way that he, he relates to me. If he says right here, hey, I've been looking for these cars all the time, just give me your best price, then guess what? I know that that guy's at the bottom of the buying funnel, he will buy today if the deal's right. Listen, it's just an email deal and you just say, hey, listen, you know, I mean, I guess you just kind of throw it against the wall. Mm -hmm. If he won't respond back to you, hey, listen, my GM says we don't buy these to keep them. We buy them to sell them. We're not a museum. Right. So if you'll call me, I can work this out with you over the phone. All due respects, you know what I'm saying? That's the way bi best business is handled. My name's Andy. I, you know, it can be a 30 second conversation. This is my cell phone, right? But the idea of it is, is that you want to try to get the phone number and learn how to write great emails just like this one, if you take a picture of that, like just like that one that literally says, hey man, I'm, I'm you know, says, hey, my name's Andy Eller. I'm here to serve you and your family at the highest level, as well as provide you world-class customer service. Nobody can be negative to that. That's a great thing. And then it says, in regards to your question, we spend tons of money on expensive tools that price our vehicles. Um, you know, basically that guarantees our vehicles are, are way under uh, market value. And the deal is market value. It doesn't say NADA, Kelly Blue Book, or Black Book, or any, it, it's, it's market value. Use market value. That's the best word you could ever use in your life. Anyways, this is a tough one. Instead of doing a regular objection handling deal, I wanted to throw an email in there. Yeah. Because literally, you guys have to get great at doing this. I bet you could sell an extra 10 cars a month if you got great at, at writing great emails. That's and guess good, what? That's a good one for Marketplace because Marketplace is like, always oh, what's the best what's you know it's always the same dude hey that right there hey that would be a great one to copy one to just send on marketplace that's a good idea see if you you guys post on marketplace what's the number one thing you get hey is this still available is this still available is this still available you guys you guys could copy and paste that over and guess what if you get a text message from them then you at least got something then you know you pick up the phone and call them what's up question on this one that it says you're going to send them a coupon um, mm -hmm. If you don't send him a coupon and then he actually does come in for the appointment, or what do you send him? Like, I'll send him a coupon. Okay. Like, yeah. What, right. do you, what do you make up? Or right here. Do do take a picture of this right here. I'll put extra $50 off. Come in today. Plus, my GM said he's going to make a deal you can't say no to. Hey, by the way, I just called you and said, hey, man, did you get that coupon yet? You're like, nope. I'm like, that's weird, man. My texts aren't going through. That's crazy. Don't worry about it. I'll print it off so you can just get it in person when you're here. <laughs> I sent it through text. I don't know what technology is doing. <laughs> My bad, bro. <laughs> they said the same thing, and I'm like, bro, well, the coupon doesn't exist. You can disguise it. Mm, the coupon, it's like this. Hey, the hey, watch this. Hey, you here for the big sale? Yeah, Come yeah. on, man. There's always a coupon. There's always a big sale. There's always a deal, right? Mm -hmm. Black Friday? Come on, man. It could be, it could be uh, April Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. Black Friday, freaking Christmas. It could be an end of the year blowout. We're always doing something. Car people give people reason. No, in my bad. Let me scrap that. Salespeople, salespeople and closers give people reasons and excuses why this should say yes and pass go. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. And the guy that's the most creative is the guy that's going to win. Okay. I promise you this. Your competition's asleep at the wheel out there, right? They're asleep at the wheel. Throw a little creativeness in your game. Yep. Okay. 
And I'm just kind of like going with like talking about these uh, marketing deals and people going live and, and starting to build their brand. In the beginning, you know, kind of like you guys have yours and we were talking about Kayla earlier. When, when she says, imagine if you guys didn't meet her and she's like, oh, I think I'm gonna start Keys by Kayla. People would be like, oh, that's stupid, dude. What does that mean? She's just a car salesman. No, you don't understand, you know what I'm saying? It's different. That's why I was telling you, like, you need to create something that your competition don't have in word tracks and skill that your competition don't have. What's up, so Romeo? We were just having a conversation right before, right before the break um, ended, and we were talking about this exact thing. And an example I gave him was how do you make the old sound new? So, all year round, like Andy said, is you have the same discounts. You have the same, it's like the mattress sale. Every year, every month, every day, it's a big mattress sale. The same thing with cars. So, like, when the new year came, I had the 2020 20 sale. And what I was saying was $20 down, $20 for the first month, only for the first 20 days of the month. And everybody like, how are you going to do that? You can't do that. I'm like, bro, they qualify for zero down, no payments for two months. And we can do $20 down, $20 for the first month. Oh. But it sounds fresh. It sounds new. Yeah. So you say, oh, you're always coming over. Always comes over. Always comes over. Hey, but, here, but here's the deal is that it's about being innovative and creative. Yeah, and listen, yeah. look, look, look now, and I will explain this to you, okay? Here, here's what you have. Hey, the person that's, they always say this, if you got 10,000 hour experience, 10,000 hours of experience in something, you're considered an expert. Am I right? Dude, the worst thing about becoming an, I've been doing this for 23 years. The worst thing about becoming an expert is you lose your innovativeness. Okay? You, 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 you lose the ability to start creating new things in your head because you think you know it all. Mm -hmm. yep. The people that are saying, I don't understand that. What? That's not real. Look, everything is perception. Everything in sales is perception. You know what I'm saying? You know how many times I've been able to prove something to, wrong to somebody because they had bad perception on it? Dude, I remember there was the time this lady came in, right? There's this gold, it's a Buick Century, right? Which is like a long time ago, if you ever remember those cars. But this guy, this lady, she said, hey, I want a, um, what'd she say? I want a, a silver Buick Century, silver, not gold. Okay, we had the most gold, like like a gold tooth, <laughs> like like gold, like his glasses inside, gold Buick Century. They walked outside, they checked out the car, literally, and the lady said, I hate this car, I wouldn't touch it for my life, I hate it, I hate it, she only wants a Buick Century. Well, guess what happened, she walks back in, manager goes outside, CEO's the deal, guess what, they're going back to their car, I'm like, dude, sell her the car, sell her the Buick Century, what the hell, man? And the deal is, I knew that car just came in, we stole it, we could crush them on it. And you know what? I said, dude, let me take a turn. He's like, dude, you're wasting your time. I run out there and say, hey guys, let's uh, listen. And I just got something in, it just came in. These guys are new, so they don't know their inventory very well. We just got one that came in, just got an oil change. It's sitting in the detail department right now. Let me go grab it and pull it up. It's your favorite color. She goes, what? I'm like, yeah, go ahead, come on in. Look, go ahead and sit right here. I go, I said, give me the keys to Buick Century. Grab the keys to Buick Century. Go out there, grab it. Okay, made sure they were kind of tucked over here in the corner, right? Pulled it around, went back to the wash bay. Guess what I did? Grabbed the hose, and I went, shh, just put some water on it. How to put some, because I said it was in the wash bay, right? How to get some water on it, you know what I'm saying? A little shh, 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 on the tires, you know what I'm saying? Freshen it up, guess what? A little shh, 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 inside, make it smell good, roll the windows, flip the radio, flip it around. I come outside and I say, look, I just pulled it out, the guy was washing it. She goes, Oh my gosh, it's what we wanted. I'm like, I told you guys, guess what happened? It was the hey, gold one? Hey, end up making a 13 grand deal on that gold Buick Century as my manager and another salesperson sat there like this and said, I don't understand how he does it. I say, look, you guys are stuck so inside your box. Here's a box, you guys are in it. I'm outside of that box and I'm constantly being creative. The coupon, you know what I'm saying? Send you the discount code. guys. I sent him a 50, did I say how much the discount was? Mm -mm. No, I'll give you a $50 discount on anything. Doesn't matter. Yeah. My goal is get the damn phone number so you can pick up the phone with somebody. I didn't say it was a discount on the car, I could say it would be a discount towards the trade-in. It could be anything, Service. but get their phone number. Get them on the phone, show them how awesome you are. Most of the time, if you guys can get on the phone with people, man, you will win and you'll crush them and you'll kill them. Anyway, so with that being said, I'm just showing you guys about being innovative and thinking outside the box. Most people are like, man, that's stupid, that won't work. Listen. If, if Man, they told me that I wasn't going to make that much money in what I did. And guess what happened? When you do it, they want to know, all right, now how do you do it again? You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm telling you this. And by the way, all this stuff that we're teaching you, it's ways that you can go back in and start attacking it. Everybody, however you were trained, is probably doing that in all the other dealerships. Guess what? Don't be like them. 
be different. When a customer feels different, they'll do things differently than they normally done it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Hey, this email one was a curveball. Yeah, you know what I'm good. saying? But you guys did a good job. Okay? Good job, guys. All right. Hey, we got two more. And we're rolling. Mm-hmm. Cars are warranty. Home, okay. This is a good one. Good one. Good one coming in. All right. This one right here, and remember what I said. I said we're gonna cover this, and then we're going into closing, negotiating, and stuff like that after we get out of after we get done with marketing until five o'clock. This right here is going to be something that is crucial in bumping people on payments. Okay? So, there's yours. I got one. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Oh, I'm being sneaky. Oh, How many markers you got in your pocket, bro? <laughs> All right. Okay. Everybody understands money justification, right? Yes. You guys seen kind of the money justifications, you know, clothes and stuff like that put on, on, on YouTube and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's say you're doing a money justification mm -hmm. close, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you need a $200 bump. Yeah. Okay. Your car has a warranty. Yeah. The customer's car doesn't. Yeah. I want you to close me, sure. close, wait, wait, close you guys sure. on believing number one in what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I don't want to just hear the words. I don't want to see the math. I want to be sold. I want to believe in what you're saying. And um, let's just kind of uh, do something like this. Yeah. Let's say we got a 20, I'm just gonna make a point. Let's say we got a 2019 Chevy, uh, Chevy, Chevy four wheel drive, okay? And it's got 28,000 miles. Yeah. Cool? Cool. Okay, payment is gonna be 600 a month. Okay. Cool? Guys driving a 2016 Chevy yeah. four wheel drive, Payments four hundred a month. Yep. Okay, and he's got seventy-five k miles. Okay. Okay, the guy comes in. That's me. Yeah. Okay. The guy comes in. I say, hey, you know what? I appreciate it. Look, the fact is, is um, I really want to stay at the same payment. If I can't stay at the same payment, then it just won't work out. Sure, Andy, and I totally understand. You're driving currently right now a 2016 Chevy with 75,000 miles on it, right? So yes. we've got that handled. You like the car, obviously. We just have to figure out a way to get to the payment you're, you're, you're looking at. So number one, I wanted to go over a couple things with you. There's a lot of things. There's 90% of my customers that have came in here, we've done extensive research on, come in here, and they now they've started to look at the overall money that the car is going to cost them over the term of the car loan, not just at the initial time of purchase. Do you mind if I go over that with you? Sure. Cool. So let me ask you a couple quick questions on your car, Andy, and then we'll get into mine here in just a second. Okay. Um, on that 2016 Chevy, how much gas are you spending on that car? All right. Let's say they got the same gas. I want you to do a warranty close. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, so that's it. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, so stay right in that warranty close. Perfect, gonna be a warranty so my car is 600 a month right now. Cool. So in our service department right now, the average 2016 Chevy of this, you know, similar to your vehicle, right now that's approaching that 100,000 mile mark is gonna be about $2,800 a month in average, or $2,800 a year in average service, okay? That usually breaks down. So that's what that car is typically gonna cost you. And it might not cost you it right this second when you're in service, it might not cost you it in six months. But over the course of the next 12 months, most likely a car that's out of warranty, what we found is gonna cost you somewhere around $2,800, okay? So when we look at that, and if you break that down over over the actual months of the year, am I right? Or I mean, obviously, let me, so if I break that down over the entire term of the, the year, 12 months, that's gonna be $240 a month, Andy, that this, uh, this car on average is gonna cost you. And just say, hey, look, listen, maybe they're shooting a little far, maybe they're shooting a little low. Let's just say it does cost you maybe 1600 bucks, okay? You'll be at $220 a month on top of your car payment every month. So your car's $400 a month, right? but then you wrap in what it's actually gonna cost you over the term of the, this next year. And we're just talking this year. We're not talking about the year after next or the year after that. So once you go over 100,000 miles, it's gonna cost you even more. So you're actually gonna be probably paying by the end of the year 
on average anywhere from 620 to 640 bucks a month. We'll just say 620. Now my car, we call this a flexible payment, right? Your car, you don't know what this is gonna cost you. It's flexible. It could change depending upon what's going on. My car is fully warranty, fully guaranteed, fully backed by a company that's been doing here business since 1963. So at 600 bucks a month, dude, you don't gotta worry about nothing on this car, okay? $600 a month versus who knows what your car is gonna cost. It could be six, seven, eight hundred dollars a month. Am I right? Cool. Andy, so this car that you loved is actually gonna be saving you money. Go on ahead and sign right there. I'll get it all cleaned up for you. We'll never have to worry about any of this craziness, okay? Okay, good job. All right, guys, you see that? All right, hold on. This is the same deal I'm gonna let his brother go through. Okay, and, and we're gonna, we are going to cover this stuff. I want to do the same deal usually, with his brother. It's usually a little bit more clean, but. Like, uh, hey, hey, you got it, babe. All right, bring in the next one. Let's roll. Hey, listen, and I'm going to tell you this, okay? This is something right now you got to be really good about selling warranty closes. You got to be great at it. I'm telling you. This is a big one. Okay. All right, you got your marker? Now I got one for you right here. Okay. All right, listen. Hey, here's the deal. All right, so pay attention. 2019 Chevy, 28,000 miles. Payment's going to be 600 a month. Is that cool? That's okay. Their car they're buying. Uh huh. Yeah. That's car they're buying. 2016 Chevy four wheel drive payment's gonna be, or my bad, they're paying 400 a month now. This is a $200 payment bump. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look, you know money justification. You know how to do a warranty close. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I want you to do is do the best, the best lethal, baddest warranty close that will convince everybody in this room to drop this $400 payment and go up to a guy to pay 600 a month, right? For a guy that says, if my payment's going up, I can't afford it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's a $200 payment bump, but yeah. I need you to not just do the math, not just talk about it, but sell it yeah. so that they become sold and will actually pay more money because I believe that's what they're already paying now. Okay. Cool. So, hey, I appreciate you. Um, it looks like the payment's going to be higher. Look, if you can't get the payment at $400, I can't pay any more than what I already pay now. Andy, I completely understand where you're coming from. Money that comes out of my bank is most important to my family. So let's think bigger. We're going to show you on a grand scale how we can do that. Are you cool with that? Yeah. Sure. Okay, cool. So look, let's look at this. This $400 a month, and we're at 75,000 miles. Keep that in mind. 75,000 miles, you know how much miles are on your car. $400 a month in gas total, Andy, how much would you say that you uh, use a month? Okay, let's say gas is the same. Nothing gas is changes. the same? Oh, okay. Nothing All right, cool. Andy, let's just say that the national average right now. You can definitely tell they're twins. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, go. All right, cool, cool, cool. So let's just say the national average in uh, it, with your car to 2016 at 75,000 miles for the warranty alone, Andy, let's make sure that you realize this in the big picture for you and your family, how I realized for my family, okay? So um, the national average right now is $2,000. It's actually 2,800, but I'm just gonna round it down to 2,000 because it's an easy number and I can't do math that well, okay? So uh, $2,000 is the national average. If your heater cooler goes out, it's winter time in Colorado, you're gonna wanna get that fixed, am I right? Sure. Right. So that's going to cost about 1200 bucks. That's not big, Andy. Uh, well, that is big, you know, and I know that that's a lot of money. But if your transmission goes out and that's 4000 bucks, man, if your whatever goes out, that's a huge cost. $4,000 is a lot bigger than what I'm saying here at 2000 If you take 2000 divided by 12, how much is that, Andy? 160. I was asking you because I don't know. Huh? I was asking you because I didn't really know. But what, I knew it was right around. It'd be 160. Okay, so it's, let's just say it's 160, okay? Let's round it down to 150. So you're paying 400 a month, Andy. Your real payment at the end of the day is 450, 550 bucks, right? So at the end of the day, when you have to, when you have to fix the $2,000 cost here, your real payment, the real money coming outside of your bank is 550 bucks. Now, what that's not including is the time to go down to the dealership. That's not including if the $4,000 breaks. All of that stuff is outside of warranty, Andy. Do you know what I mean? So let's say this, with your new car, we're at 600 bucks. How much more valuable to be in a car that's protected, to drive the new car, the car that your family wants, the car that's in warranty, you don't have to stop out, you don't have to worry about your uh, wife driving down the road, something happens, the heater cooler goes out, your kids are cold in the car. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want my kids in the car. I'm, I'm sure you wouldn't want your kids cold in the car. So check this out, Andy, 600 bucks. Sounds like a lot, I understand. But the real money that's coming out of your bank is somewhere around 550, and that's a low estimate compared to what could happen. Now, you're a safety guy. No, you're an analytical guy. So at, four, at 600 a month, you're protecting your family 
for that investment of that car and you're not having to worry about all this. So Andy, let's go ahead and sign here. Also, on the $600 a month, do you want to do it at the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, or the end of the month? What works best for you or your family? Okay, all right, listen. All right, guys, you got it. Listen, follow me. Now, let's take these two for a second. Selling warranty closes is one of the one most powerful thing you'll ever do in your life. I promise you, when you don't have nowhere to go and your car has a warranty and theirs doesn't, what stands between you and closing that deal is literally getting somebody convinced and have them understand the warranty side of what things cost so you can bump them massively in big scales of payments. Okay? All right. So we got my man right here. We got Evan. Or we got, I'm sorry, Ian. We got Evan, right? All right. Who won this one? Everybody over here, hold on, hold on. Ian, raise your hand. Ian, raise your hand. All right. Evan, raise your hand. Yeah, Evan did it good. That's great. Hey, listen, I'm going to tell you this. I want you to think about this right now. Hey, here we go. So he won this one. Alex, put him up there. Where are we at right now? So what did he say? I want to know now. <laughs> hold on. We got this recorded. What is it? Evan's up. No, Ian's, Ian's up. up. Hey, now listen, when I say this to you, when we get to closing in a little bit, I will show you guys how to shut every freaking person down in the world. Look, if you understand ownership costs and ownership needs, you will be unstoppable. I promise you, unstoppable. But the way you present it, you guys have to practice this all the time. And the deal is, is that you guys have probably done this in closing, right? Yeah. But you probably don't practice it massive amounts, right? Uh, we do, we uh, a fair amount. Yeah, you do. No, yeah. not, 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 not Okay, not I was just much. testing. Not I was yeah, testing. Probably, yeah. yeah, like we we practice it probably three four times a week in this exact one. The, yeah. This right here. The more we, times you practice, we have it. a conference room where we'll whoever. I mean, a lot of the times, like you you might have some like minded guys at your dealership or not. Who gives a shit? But like, find somebody maybe who you can do it with, or if it's your spouse, we'll just go. We'll grab Kaden, a couple of the guys who are interested, and we'll go. You know, just run up, run over some different closes that we can use, like this one. Yeah. yeah, this is. I'm telling you guys, and we'll get into the end. We practice it a lot, lot, no, but uh, we do practice Andy, it a good amount. Yes. What about if you get the smart ass guy that says, "I take care of my car; it never breaks." But you don't have a warranty. But yeah, I, but I take care of my car. And sure. So it doesn't break of course, and I taking care of your well. car means that you service it. Is that correct? Right. And servicing means that it costs money. Is that right? Right. Okay. 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 No, no, I got you. I'm going to show you how to handle this. Oh, my bad. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, kind of crazy. Hey, listen, but I'm telling you what. Twin sandwich, Andy? <laughs> no. Hey, go put that on Instagram. All right. Hey, hey, listen. All right. That is not the twin sandwich I was thinking about. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? All right. All right, listen. All right, here, hey, here's what I want to do. And I mean this when I say this. We're, we're at right here at the end, and we're going to keep popping. This right here, this should be something that every single person has somebody. Do you have somebody in the store to role play with, or do you have your wife? I have my wife. Good. Do it with your wife. Mm -hmm. Okay? Drew, you got somebody in your store? Yep. Okay, take that person. Do the same thing we're doing now. Me and my wife, we battle it out all the time. And I know I mean, you got to. Find somebody. Seriously, if you don't have somebody in your store, guess what? Find someone that you can do it with. And I know Zoom this. Zoom call on car sales issues. Dude, somebody who wants Zoom to get call. On I'm telling Same you, man. I see guys do it all the time. I just heard Caden over here. He was talking. Uh, who are you talking to? I was talking to. Yeah, he was talking to somebody. He was like, he's like, dude, hit me up. We'll, we'll role play together. We'll practice. You know what I'm saying? Like Freddie, right? Dude, seriously, when I say this, like, that's what's up, man. That's how you'll scale. Everybody in here should have someone that they can scale with. And I know it. Hey, it sounds a little weird. Dude. It's not weird. What's weird is not doing it. What's more uncomfortable, role playing with somebody or getting a freaking small paycheck? That's uncomfortable, and I mean it. Okay. Into the wall, like, oh shit. Hey, hey, listen. Go ahead. What's up, brother? So I'm wondering, where is this 2800 number coming from? I got you. We're gonna get into that in a little bit. Okay. I got you. No, no, no. We're gonna get into this, so we're gonna move fast. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get into that. We're gonna handle that. I'm gonna teach you how to do this. We're gonna do it really fast. We're gonna we're gonna move so quick. Whenever we're done, you're gonna get all that, okay? But I'm telling you, when I say this, you gotta have somebody to do it with. And guess what, in your store, they may say, hey, training stupid, man, don't do it, you don't have to do it. You know what I'm saying? He works in a dealership, right? You work in a dealership, and guess what, what did they say to you? Training stupid, why are you following this guy? That's an idiot. Guess we get top salesman of the month last month. <laughs> I don't know, man, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying, right? No, no, I'm just saying, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Look. You're gonna have so many people around you hating constantly. 
just stay in the game, stay focused, stay plugged in. I'm freaking telling you, man. You guys at the end of 2021, you're not even gonna recognize yourself. I swear. Um, and then like I said, our goal is each time is to have you guys team up with stronger people to role play with. You guys, I know y'all are brothers. Y'all push each other constantly, right? You two right there. They're in the same store. They look oh, they like brothers. The same like, like, I no, I mean, you guys are like brothers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not real brothers, but you're like brothers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, these guys are like brothers. And guess what? Yeah, y'all are real brothers, but you guys are like brothers. You know what I'm saying? You guys need to be pushing each other hard. I mean, you're trying to snap him in half. He's trying to snap you in half. All of these objections, I got them all. I got every single one of them. You guys can have so much stuff, but coming back in here every time gives you a chance to push yourself. And my goal is when you come in here, you say, hey, Andy, put me on the spot. Seriously, right now, right now, bring him up. Come on. I want everybody on me. That's the kind of way that I want you to breed and I want you to go. I want you to become that guy. Um, okay. All right. Let's do one more. We got the, hold on. Wait a minute. This is at nine. So where are we at? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Listen, here's the deal. Evan is going to have to tie at this time or there's no doubt that Ian won it, okay? And I got a tiebreaker. If they can do it, but hold on, there may not even be a tiebreaker. It just depends, so let's do this. Since obviously, I was talking about taking the game-winning shot, right? Evan, you're gonna go first. Ian, get out of here. <laughs> okay, that means when Ian comes back in, he's gotta bring it. No pressure. Or, yeah, no pressure. <laughs> Okay, guys, you're going to freaking love this one. You guys are going to love this one. Where's that eraser at? Okay. All right, all right. I don't care whether you have this in your store or not. You need to learn how to become a great salesperson, okay? But I guarantee a lot. How many of you in here have addendums in your store? Raise your hand. Lots of addendums in here. Okay. All right. A, a, dealer, a dealer addendum is the ads in your store. Y'all have them, Kayla? Oh, yeah, baby. You got them. Uh-huh. All right. No, this is a this is a these guys really struggle in this. All right, guys. All right, here we go. All right, listen. Here we go. I'm going to give you that one because it's a little easier right here. Okay. All right, so here's what I did. This is the dealer addendum, okay? And I wrote it up here for everybody to see. And by the way, I don't care what you have in your store. I just want you to look at this, and then you can probably kind of relate and change, okay? So, 18 grand. Y'all know the internet price, right? Guy sees it for 18 grand, comes in. Guess what? He's like, hey, I like it. You know what I'm saying? Let's, you know, hey, if I get the deal right, would you be happy to take it home? You're like, yeah. You go to sit down, you get your pencil. It says 18 grand plus ads. And then it's got the addendum. Some of you guys have them on your windows. Am I right? Yeah. Some of you guys don't have them on your windows. You just have them on the worksheet when you present the pencil. Am I right? Yeah. They're all over the place. Wherever it is, you have to know how to handle it. This is going to be an objection to you, okay, that basically... It's going to be 18 grand mm -hmm. plus the ads, okay? And it's going to show this right here. It's got the 3M door guards, the 3M door edge guards mm -hmm. for $299. Mm -hmm. It's got the Kahu Security GPS for $799. Mm -hmm. It's got the wheel repair and dent ding for $799. Mm -hmm. And it's got tent for $399. Yep. Cool? Yep. That brings it to $2296. That brings the total price. I want you to bring this out, present it to me, right? Sure. I'm going to ask a question to you guys real quick. Do you guys tell everybody about that or is that something that comes out on the worksheet? 
Okay. Is it on your window? Yes. It's on your windows. Who in here has it on the worksheet but not on the windows? Okay. So most of the time it's on the window, right? But it'll always be on the worksheet, but you have it on the window so people see it in advance. A lot of the times though, you really don't pay attention to it. You just keep moving and selling the car. Am I right? Okay. But you're always going to have to talk about it when the pencil comes out. So this is a spot. So you can talk about, you know, yeah. maybe before or after. Let's just yeah. say we might be on the lot. Let's just say you don't even know about it. Yeah, let's say we don't know about it. We'll yeah. play it easy, okay? Let's just say you don't even know about it. A big surprise, Andy. Surprise time. Good. Let's um, go. Hey, Andy. So the car that you chose was $18,000 plus our additional fees and taxes on the vehicle after your taxes and fees. Go on ahead and sign right here. Here's your price. There you go. Would you like, oh, and the, are you doing this checker? Yeah, no, this, what is this? Yeah. Yeah, eight, 18 grand is what I saw it online for. Right, Andy, and like I've been telling you this entire time, I want to be able to sell you cars for your entire life. So when you come back on the vehicle, we do have some different additions on the car. We've aligned our values with what's going on actually in the dealership world. Um, in a multi-billion dollar industry, we found if we don't protect the cars the right way, they don't come back, they don't look the right way, that you also drops your value over time in the car. So we do have some additional things that we found bring a lot of value when you come back to trade in the vehicle so th those are those items did you have some questions yeah i want to pay 18 grand for the car yeah sure andy it's 18,000 plus the plus the different uh, fees um and like i was telling you these are things that are going to save you money down the line um so go on ahead and sign right there and we'll move forward yeah if you can't remove this i don't i don't want to pay for that stuff oh. no hey hold on can I ask this question from everybody? Did you guys expect what I him to stop there? No. 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 You guys didn't but expect him to stop there. Yeah. For too long. Yeah. For too long. Hey, so what I, can I ask you a question? And this is a real question, right? <laughs> you know if Ian gets this one, right? He beat you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you were doing so good. I don't know why you didn't explain it. Mm -hmm. And I should have gone, like, so in that point, would you go more? No, 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 there's no repeats when the customer leaves. Sure. <laughs> okay? That's the deal about life, okay? That's why every time these guys get better when they come back and you get better, because in here, guess what? You get to go there's all no in, give your best deal, and then when you come back next time, you're like, dude, I'm not getting caught in that trap again. Yep. I know what I did wrong. I saw my hole. All right, let's send them in. Let's roll. All right. Hey, there you go. Wait. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. He's got a whole he mess up, too. And listen. I mean it when I say this. No, this right here, this is something you got to be great at in your dealership. You want to make a lot of money. This is nothing but profit in a lot of y'all stores. I mean, it's nothing but profit. All right, baby. Here we go. If Ian can close this here, who won, who, who, who won last it, time? Kyle, don't say it. Take that. Yeah, come on, man. Don't say it. Was it a tie last time? Yeah. Ian. Huh? Making me nervous, man. Come on, man. All right. Here you go. Wait, wait. Where, where's the blue marker at? It's easier to write. Okay, here we go. If you want to write anything down, you're welcome to, okay? Bottom line is, this is an addendum, mm -hmm. all right? The price I saw the car online was 18 grand for the internet. Cool? It's got 3M door guards for $299, Kahoo security for $799, will repair dent and ding for $799, tent for $399. That brings you to a $2296 addendum, mm -hmm. which brings me to $20,296, okay? Cool. With that being said, first time you're showing it to me, go ahead and present it, and then I'm going to give you an objection. Cool. Hey, Andy, the car you chose is 18000 It's plus these ads. So we got all these things here added up just for a grand total of 20296 Go ahead and sign here for me. We'll get that going. Also, how are you going to do that? Are you going to do that check cash or finance? Yeah. I, what, is the, I, what is this? I saw this online for eighteen. Yeah, yeah, I'll explain it. How are you going to do it? Check cash or finance? Well, it depends if I'm going to buy it. Okay, yeah. That's cool. not the price I saw. Yeah, that's okay. I'm going to explain this, how this works. How are you going to do it? Check cash or finance? I'm gonna explain it all to you. Don't worry about it. Uh, check. Check. All right. Cool. So uh, most of our customers, 90% of our customers, we did a survey just to make sure that we serve you at the highest level. Um, all of our customers, we came to find out that all of them would want to protect their cars in these ways. It's an investment, one way or another. We want to make sure your car's protected. So we also did a survey on our pricing to make sure that our pricing was the lowest. We built that into there. So you're basically getting these things added in at a very cheap cost. We sell all of this for a whole lot more. But hey, we built this in and into the price to make sure that you got the best deal and your car is protected. So when do you want to do that check? Do you want to do it at the beginning of the month, middle of the month, the end of the month, or do you want to just do that right now and we'll wrap it up? 
yeah, there's no way that I'm going to pay this extra money. If you can get it to the 18 grand, that's fine. But if not, we're just wasting our time. Yep, yep. I completely understand. So how, when you're going to protect your car, you want to protect your money, right? Sounds like you're a very smart guy and you want to make sure that the car is protected in every way. You don't want to just stroke me an $18,000 check and not have the car protected. That wouldn't make sense, would it? No, but I don't see any value in any of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I didn't explain it to you whole per se, all, all, all the way correctly. So the three indoor guards, those are huge. Dude, you open the car, one of your kids get out, Andy. I've seen those kids get out of the car. They're going to bang that dent. You know how much that is to you know, build up on your car? That's 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks. Heck, it could be even more than that, dude. Now you got a security system. Let that car get stolen. You've given me an $18,000 check. Check this out, Andy. That 18,000, you gotta go look for, you gotta call your insurance, you're gonna call them, they're gonna go back and forth with you, that's monotonous. Now, you get that GPS, you're gonna know where that car is, how to protect it, where it's at. Your wheel and repair. Look, I've seen Jackie drive. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wheel repair, door dings, dude, dude. Wheel repair, door dings, little Ian. Hey, Ian is just like me, we're both Ians, dude, I know this. We're gonna get out, dad's got the dough, we might just, you know, tap that old Land Cruiser dog, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, tent, we wanna protect your family. The sun is shining bright, it gets on your skin, stuff like that. Dude, you don't want anybody walking around with these health problems that that can produce. So, would you agree that that stuff has a very less value? That typically goes for about $5,237.19. We've already discounted that to $2,296. Andy, go ahead and sign here and protect your family, because you're just like me, right? Talk about painting the picture. Damn, dog. Yeah. Hey. He's about to go buy that shit for his car right now. I'm like, man, I'm looking out there to see if I got door guards. Yeah. Hey, hey, listen, I want to ask questions. Does that mean it's a tie? Yes. No. No. Oh, we won. Oh, okay, we're done. Guys, good job with Ian. Good job with Evan. All right. Hey. Listen, that right there, that's what we call like battle games. Like we play that all the time and it's good for you. And by the way, hey, hey, you, you guys present addendums in here, right? Yes. 